Let's take a look at downforce and top speed in MotoGP and some of the trade-offs that must be made when deciding whether to ride with or without the aerodynamic fairings. Top speed can only be achieved when the riders open up the throttle. Depending on whether the riding with the fairing depends just how fast top speed is. The standard fairing allows for a higher top speed and greater agility. This has to be weighed up against reduced stability when braking. The aerodynamic fairing on the other hand provides more downforce, reducing the wheelie and increasing the front tyre contact whilst improving stability when braking. The shape of the fairing can have a significant impact on the drag, which can be used to the rider's advantage. The standard fairing creates less drag and creates less downforce, which could lead to more wheelie when accelerating. The aerodynamic fairing on the other hand creates more drag, but directs it to keep the front tyre on the track. Ultimately, it's the aerodynamic fairing that keeps the wheels in contact with the asphalt for greater acceleration, whereas the standard fairing allows the rider to reach a greater top speed.